Until now, scorpions were considered dangerous for their fatal venom. But do you know how much their venom costs in the international market? Who exactly is buying this venom and for what? In today's video, we will look at some interesting facts about scorpion venom. Everything will be revealed here today, from extracting venom from dangerous scorpions to making a cure for cancer. But before we dive into that, let's understand this venom. So what is scorpion venom and how did they get it? To understand scorpion venom, we have to know how scorpions developed venom in their tail and what exactly is this venom. According to scientists, the story of scorpions begins 400 billion years ago. Yes, that long ago. It is believed scorpions initially originated on land and eventually swept into the ocean. The ancestors of scorpions in the ocean were sea spiders and horseshoe crabs. These invertebrate animals stayed in the ocean and evolved during this time. After millions of years, they again crawled out of the sea to spread on the land. Now they had the challenge of finding effective ways to survive on the ground. So they began to develop a potent weapon that could kill prey instantly, which we now know as venom. The more they evolved their venom, the more their pincers grew smaller, which means they had to hustle less because they had the ability to inflict a chemical death that works instantly. A team led by Shunyi Zhu of the Institute of Zoology at the Chinese Academy of Sciences found that a common protein used as part of the scorpion's immune system was the origin of the scorpion's venom. The venom is a neurotoxin venom, which means once it enters your bloodstream, it targets your central nervous system and starts blocking the electromagnetic signal of the brain. What can that do? It can stop your muscles from working and even stop your heart. But despite that, it is harvested, and the cost of this venom goes up to $39 million per gallon. The structure of a scorpion. Scorpions are classified under arachnids. Now, what is an arachnid? This is a class of joint-legged invertebrate animals. Yes, scorpions are not insects, but they are classified as an animal because scorpions have eight legs, while insects have six. Scorpions have two body segments, while insects have three. You can say they are a distant cousin of spiders. Now let's look at their structure. The scorpion body is divided into two main parts, the cephalothorax or prosoma and the abdomen or opsithosoma. As scary as they look, these fantastic creatures are an example of perfect bioengineering of nature. It has two pincers in front equipped with claws that allow them to hold its prey or dance with its mate during mating. It also has eight legs attached to the abdomen. The legs give them speed and easy mobility. And at last, the weapon is known for the sting. It is located at the scorpion's tail, which carries neurotoxic venom. Scorpions inject venomous stings into their prey, mainly small insects and invertebrate animals. This sting is used for both offense and defense purposes. Apart from holding venom, this scorpion tail has one more interesting use, which is providing balance to their body. The body of scorpions is made of a solid exoskeleton, and this exoskeleton shines in a blue-green glow under ultraviolet light or a natural moon night. Do you know why? Because the blue-green glow comes from a substance found in the hyaline layer, a very thin but super tough coating in a part of the scorpion's exoskeleton called the cuticle. The color and size of these scorpions vary according to their habitat. Now let's look at some of the types of scorpions. Scorpions are found on every continent and there are approximately 1,500 species spread worldwide. They all have evolved according to their environment. Some of them have bigger bodies while others have smaller bodies. Some are more venomous while others are not so. Now let's look at some of the types of scorpions. The India red tail scorpion. This species of scorpions is found across India, eastern Pakistan, and the eastern lowlands of Nepal. This scorpion is tiny, about 40 to 60 millimeters in length, and it is considered one of the world's venomous scorpions. When stung by this tiny scorpion, victims typically experience nausea, heart problems, discoloration of the skin, and in more severe cases, it may cost the life of children if not treated on time. Another dangerous scorpion is the Death Stalker Scorpion. It is the most dangerous scorpion in the world. The pain caused by the scorpion's venom is described as extremely painful. And the bad news is they are spread in a wide area from the Middle Eastern countries to Central Asia. It becomes challenging to identify it because it comes in different colors. But the nature of this Death Stalker remains aggressive. Its neurotoxic venom can prove fatal for even adults. So if you were thinking of keeping it as a pet, then you need to think again. 
A sting from this species may cause seizures, unconsciousness, and hypertension. Another dangerous scorpion is the yellow fat-tailed scorpion. This name is given to the species of the scorpion because it has small pincers but a thick yellow tail, and it is found in semi-arid and arid regions of the Middle East and Africa. They are a moderate size of scorpion with a length of 10 centimeters. Their venom is neurotoxic and capable of severe health issues. Now, what are the uses of venom? A scorpion holds its venom in the sting, which is not only valuable for the scorpion, but for humans as well. The venom it produces is of tiny quantity. A sting can hold anywhere between 0.3 milligrams to 0.7 milligrams, and it takes about two weeks for a scorpion to fill its sting of venom full. Extracting this venom is not easy as each scorpion needs to be handled individually by hand to extract a tiny droplet of venom. If you are thinking, why does it cost $39 million for a gallon, then here is the answer. One has to milk 2.6 million lethal scorpions to fill just one gallon. But this dangerous venom can also be used as a life-saving medicine. After years of research and development, scientists have developed a variety of medications using scorpion venom, which solves different kinds of human health issues. Now, the medical industry is using this neurotoxic venom to make medicines that prevent organ rejection during transplants. It is already used to cure rheumatoid arthritis, a chronic inflammatory disorder affecting many joints, including the hands and feet. It is helping people with fetal alcohol spectrum disorders. And it is also used in detecting tumors and killing staph and tuberculosis bacteria. Apart from this, there are health issues for which scientists are hoping to provide medicines using this venom, most of which are in the development stage, such as better cancer treatment, effective painkillers without any side effects, and producing entirely new antibiotics. So that was the video. Guys, if you liked it, consider subscribing. If you haven't already, don't forget to press that bell icon. Thank you.